Hi and welcome to this channel. My name is Favor and today we are going to be learning how to make this beautiful cardigan, okay? So, as you can see, I've already started some of the granny squares for the cardigan and for this tutorial we are going to be needing our yarn cutter. We're going to be needing two crochet hooks. So for this I'm going to be using a size 4 millimeter crochet hook and then a size 2 millimeter crochet hook, okay? So you just need a big and a smaller hook and then we'll be needing our yarn um, our yarn needle and then some stitch markers of course and then also we are going to be needing our yarn so for this tutorial i'm going to be using a multi color yarn like as you can see these are scrap yarns okay that i used from my previous project so i'm just going to be using them to transform them to make this same um, cardigan okay so you just need different colors of yarn all right so and as usual you can use any color you can even use one color if you choose just do what suits you okay so let's get into the tutorial all right so for this tutorial we are going to be making different um, granny squares like this okay like i said earlier okay we're just going to be making a lot of them because we'll be needing a lot for them so first of all we are going to be starting with our magic knot okay so we are going to make this center piece first all right so we are going to first of all we're going to make our magic knot right so you want to grab your yarn wrap it around make a circle like this okay you can see i'm holding these two ends together like this now you want to insert your hook inside the circle and then pull your yarn through okay once you've done that you want to hold it and then you want to start working okay so once you have your magic stick you want to make one so now you can see we have a circle right here so you want to chain two this chain two does not count as a stitch so we are going to be making six double crochets into this ring okay so you yarn over insert your hook into the ring okay yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two the remaining two okay we're going to make it again yarn over insert it into the ring pull pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the remaining two so we're just going to keep repeating this double crochet until we have a total of 16 double crochets in the ring okay all right so i have my 16 double crochet in the ring okay so the next thing is you want to take that tail end and then you want to pull like so so you pull tightly to secure that hole at the middle and then you want to slip stitch to that very first double crochet they're not on the chain you remember the chain does not count as a stitch so we are going to slip stitch to the top of this very first double crochet here okay and then you chain one pull up your loop and then we are going to cut so after this the next thing we are going to do we are going to weave in our ends we are going to be cutting and weaving in our ends at the end of each row okay so this is where our smaller hook is going to be necessary okay so i like to secure this part so it doesn't come undone in the long run so i just insert like so yarn over Pull through and then make a chain pull up the loop and secure it there that's behind my work this is the right part of the work so you're doing this on the wrong side of your work so we are going to repeat that one more time just run anyway just insert your hook like so yarn over with that tail pull through and then you're going to make a chain there so now i'm going to be doing this three times okay so you can do it as many as you want to like i just I like to do it three times just to make sure it is secured nicely so it doesn't come undone in the long run so the next thing you want to do you want to take your yarn a needle and then you want to weave in the remaining part of your work so you're just going to put in this through okay so if you want to learn more about all these basic stitches you're yarning over and then Living in your ends okay you just want to i'm going to be leaving the link in the description so you can go and watch the tutorial i made about crochet for beginners okay so it's going to really guide you if you're new in crochet and so we're just going to repeat the same thing for this other end of our work so i'm just going to be weaving in this end okay so you cut off the excess and once that is done so now we have this all right so after you have this so what we just did we did this center part so we're going to make the next part of our work right so to do that i'm going to be grabbing another color of yarn okay so for this i'm going to be making use of blue so you want to take that next color of yarn and then you grab your the hook the one you're working with not the smaller one the bigger sized hook and then you want to just attach it attach your yarn anyway on any of those uh, double crochet okay so once you've attached your yarn right once you've attached your yarn you're going to chain two remember the chain two does not count as a stitch okay so the next thing now we're going to make a, a two double crochet 
together okay so you're going to yarn over and start your hook in that very same stitch space where you attached your yarn okay then we're going to pull through two now we have two loops on our hook you yarn over again insert your hook into that chain space that same chain space okay you pull through two and then you have three loops on your hook then we're going to pull through all three okay and then we're going to chain two okay once you've chained two now we're going to be working on the next double crochet stitch so you yarn over insert your hook pull through pull through two you have two loops on your hook now you yarn over insert your hook pull through pull through two and then you have three loops on your hook and then yarn over all three and then you're going the next thing now you know here we did a chain two space so now we're going to make a chain one space yarn over on the next stitch we're going to repeat the same thing we're going to make a double two a double a, a crochet double two together or rather a double crochet two together okay so we did a double crochet two together chain two double crochet two together chain one double crochet two together so we're going to chain two again yarn over and on the next stitch a double crochet two together okay so we're just going to keep repeating this and alternating the chain space so when you make a chain two space the next chain space is going to be a chain one before you start working on your next stitch okay so we're just going to keep repeating this until we get to the end of the row and then we'll slip stitch to join all right so i'm um, almost at the end of this row okay so the last chain space here was a chain one space so i'm just going to make a chain two space i have one more stitch remaining to work on so i'm just going to make my double crochet two together pull through all three and then i'm going to make a chain one space and then i'm going to slip stitch to the top of this um, first double crochet two together okay so you're going to slip stitch to join that row okay then you're going to chain one to secure it so at the end of this row you should have a total of um 16 double crochet two together you're going to have a total of eight chain two spaces and then eight chain one spaces okay so you start with a chain two space and end with a chain one space right so once you've done this you want to turn your work on this chain one space that was the last video we're going to slip stitch in that chain one space so you chain one turn your work again and then on this chain space here that very chain space that we did that slip stitch just now we're going to place a single crochet there okay once you have your single crochet you're going to chain two we are on the right side of our work make sure you're always working on the right side of your work so yarn over we are going to be making our cluster stitch so to make this cluster stitch now after your chain two you're going to insert your hook make a double crochet without finishing it yarn over make another double crochet go through the first two loops you have three loops on your hook now you yarn over make the third double crochet stitch without finishing it so now we have four loops on our hook and then you're going to pull through all four you're going to chain one okay yarn over repeat the same cluster in that same stitch space pull through two you have two loops on your hook yarn over insert your hook in that same stitch space pull through two you have three yarn over in that same stitch space pull through three so we have four loops on our hook we are going to pull through all four and then we are going to chain two and then in this chain one space here now we are going to be placing a single crochet there okay in the chain one space and then you're going to chain two in the chain two space you're going to repeat the same exact thing you did for this place the cluster stitch so you yarn over insert your hook pull through yarn over insert your hook you're not going to finish it okay you now have four loops on your hook so you're going to and then chain one and then you're going to repeat the same thing in that same stitch space pull through yarn over insert your hook pull through yarn over insert your hook pull through we have four loops on our hook now so we're going to pull through then we're going to chain two and then in the chain one space we're going to make a single crochet there okay so this is going to form our petals for the, the uh, granny square flower that we're going to be making so you're going to chain two now on the next chain space this chain two space so for this round what you just need to know is that in each of the chain two spaces you're going to be placing your cluster there and then on the chain one spaces you're going to be placing a single crochet there and then you're going to be starting each cluster and ending it with a chain two so i've made the chain two for this one then you're going to insert your hook and make your cluster stitch okay that's three so the cluster stitch you're going to be making a three double crochet together with a chain one space in between and then you make another three double crochet together okay and then you're going to chain two on the next chain which is the chain one space you're going to slip stitch two I mean you're going to place a single crochet there okay so you're just going to keep repeating this process until we get to this end all right so i'm almost at the i'm almost at the end of this row so i'm just going to make the last petal in this chain two space so you're going to chain two and over 
and make your double crochet three together which is going to be your first cluster as usual the chain one in between make another double crochet three together which is our next cluster in that same space which is a chain two space so once you've done that you chain two and then on this very first stitch where we started okay so you can see this very first stitch where we started we are going to slip stitch to that very chain space there so once you have slip stitch then you want to slip stitch again to this single crochet stitch that we did in that that first single crochet stitch so you want to slip stitch onto that one too then you're going to chain one pull off the loop and then you want to cut off the yarn so that would be it for this round you can see so in total we're going to be having eight petals okay so you want to count your petals and make sure they are eight and then you're going to weave in your end and then we attach the next color so for our fourth row we are going to be attaching our new color and for me it's green all right so you're just going to still working on the right side of your work okay you just attach your yarn on any of the single crochet stitch that is in between the petals okay so you just attach your yarn to any of the single crochet stitch there okay once you've attached your yarn the next thing you want to do you want to chain two remember the chain two does not count as a stitch so you yarn over and place a double crochet in that same stitch space okay so now we have our first double crochet there then we are going to make a treble crochet so you're going to yarn over twice and then insert your hook in that same stitch space pull through first two pull through second two and pull through the last two right and then you want to chain two okay you're going to make a treble again yarn over twice in that same stitch space that's where we're going to be placing the treble okay then we're going to make a double crochet next so this is like a corner so this roll is what's going to make our flower petal into a square okay so that is this roll this green all right so once you've done that you want to chain four Okay, once you chain four, then you're going to skip this petal entirely. And then on that single crochet stitch here in between the petals, you're going to place a half double crochet there. So you yarn over, insert your hook in that single crochet stitch there, pull through. You have three loops on your hook, and then you're going to pull through all three loops. Okay, and then you're going to chain four again. Four. And then you're going to yarn over. And then in the next uh, single crochet space there, on the next single crochet stitch, you're skipping the petals, remember, you're going to place a double crochet here okay a double crochet then we're going to make a treble crochet so you yarn over twice on that same stitch space pull through the first two the second two and then the last two that's your treble then you chain two then we're going to make a treble and a double crochet so you yarn over twice on that same stitch space place another treble there yarn over and make a double crochet on that same stitch space so once once you do this you can see so this is our first side of the square so you're just going to keep repeating this process so we're going to chain four again and then on the next stitch we're going to place a half double crochet on that single crochet stitch space you pull through all three okay so you make your corner okay because this is this where we are making the double crochet chain two space uh, treble double crochet is our corner you chain four then on the next uh, single crochet you're going in between the petals you're going to place a half double crochet you chain four you make another corner chain four place a half double crochet and then you're going to chain four again three and four and then you're going to place another corner right here okay so we start our corner with a double crochet then the next stitch is going to be a treble crochet like so then you chain two in between make another treble then you're going to make an a double crochet so and that will be it for the corner okay so we're just going to keep making this you chain four you have double crochet chain for your corner until we get to the end of this side of our square so if you're getting this right this is what your work is going to be looking like so after you make your half double crochet which is going to be the last one here we're going to chain four and then we're going to slip stitch to the top of this first double crochet we did here so you just insert your hook yarn over and then you're going to just make a slip stitch there okay sorry about that insert your hook and make a slip stitch okay you chain one pull up a loop and then you want to cut off the excess yarn so once you're done with this row, you're going to notice your square beginning to form right and you're going to have four corners of where you did the treble crochet and double crochet stitches with chain two space in between and then you're also going to be having four places where you did the um 
half double crochet stitches okay so then after this we're just going to weave in our ends i'm going to do that off camera and we are going to work on the next okay, row. so for the next row we are going to be working with our white which is the last row okay as you can see which is the last row after the green so what we need to do so you just want to attach your yarn into any of the chain two spaces at each of the corner stitches all right so i'm just going to attach my yarn in between in this chain two space here okay so once you've done that you want to chain two as usual the chain two does not count as a stitch so you're going to place a double crochet into that chain two space and then we'll make another double crochet okay once you've done that you're going to chain two and then into the same chain two space you're going to make another double crochet okay and then we're going to also make another double crochet so in total we have four double crochets with chain two space in between so this is going to be our corner and then we're just going to place a double crochet on top of each of these two stitches here so you just want to insert your hook and place a double crochet on top of that treble stitch there okay and then you want to make another double crochet on top of this double crochet stitch here okay so once you've done that for the chain four space you're going to be placing four double crochets okay so you just place um, four double crochets in this chain four space that's two three and then four all right so, so on the next chain four space we're also going to be placing a four double crochet in that chain space one two three and then four so then for the next corner we're going to place two double crochets on top of these two stitches so one then on the next stitch you have two so for the chain for chain two space we're going to be making our corner okay so we're going to make one two double crochet chain two in the same chain space you're going to also place another two double crochet stitches so there we have our corner so for the next two stitches we're going to be making two double crochet stitches on top of each that's one then on the next stitch you're going to place another double crochet so for the chain four space we're going to be placing just like we did place four double crochet skip the half double crochet stitch on the next uh, chain four space you're going to make another four double crochet then you work on your corner as usual okay so you can see our scale is already gradually forming so i'm going to do that and meet you at the end of this row all right so i just finished placing the four double crochets in the chain four space right so i still have two stitches here to work on so you just place your double crochet on top of each of the stitches as usual okay and once you're done with that you want to slip stitch to the top of this first double crochet that we have here okay slip stitch chain one to secure or pull up the loop and then cut off and then we are going to weave in our ends and so you can see our square is already formed so we're going to make as much of this square as possible right I me mean, i'm working with i'm working with a multi-color right so you can go with a solid color if you like so it's all up to your preference okay so, so you just want to keep making this square as much as needed for the project so for a more detailed tutorials on this granny square you can check windingroadcrochet.com that was where i saw this granny square tutorial so i'm going to be leaving the link in the description box you can check it out